Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Dampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create this little mitten ornament. First, you will need some felt and Spellbinders nested mitten uh, dies, and you use the biggest die and cut it one time, one way. And then flip the felt over and cut it the other way. That way you're f you, you will um, have the same side of felt on the outside once you line them up and sew them together. Now you can either, either use uh, tape or fabric, fabric glue, or you can sew them together, is what I have done with my sample. And the next step to decorate, you will add a buttonhole stitch. That is a really, really easy stitch, and I'll show you. And the cool thing, if you sew your mittens together, is that you already have a spacing where um, you want where you have to line up the stitches that so that way they will be even go from the inside I already made a knot on my embroidery floss and threaded it in an embroidery needle and this way the beginning knot will be hidden it's inside here and then you I stitch two of the stitches down. You can pick more or less. And then you have this loop and you go through the loop with your needle. And this will be your first buttonhole stitch. And again, two down, stitch down, go through the loop. And we repeat that all the way. When you stitched all the way through, just instead of having one loop here, just do a second one. That will tie a knot or even a third one. That will uh, create a knot up here and it will be covered with whatever you decide to use as decoration, uh, as cuff for the mitten. Just cut it off. Now before I put my lace on, my lacy ribbon on as my cuff, um, I want to create some of these fragment ornaments. To do that, I already used some Crafty Secrets creative scraps, the Christmas ones, and added glossy accent on my fragment pieces and adhered them to the scrap. Now all I have to do is cut those out. And to make sure it's all even, you can just sand the edges a little bit. Next we'll need a, pea, uh, a foam board and a paper piercer and just pierce a hole on the top of your fragment piece so we'll be able to string up the ornaments. 
and cut some embroidery floss, the same one you used for stitching the, your your um, mitten to hang your ornaments on. Thread them through. You can either leave them dangling like this, and I like to put a knot on the bottom. So just knot it up. One. If you have trouble with the knotting, you can always use your embroidery needle again, or not with the knotting, with the threading it through. Just use a needle. Let's see if I can get this one through without using the needle. Tie them all up. And one more. And you take another piece of embroidery floss and just tie it together to make your loop for your hanger. Now place them on your um, mitten and then you sew these three, four pieces on. I just use regular sewing thread. Just, uh, Make a knot and not sew this on. Now I just go through one layer of the felt. You don't. And the beginning, you can just use the end. Whoops, there's my hoop. Stay in there. And you can tie this shut so you know your thread won't come loose. Come on. And I cut that end off and sew this a few more times to make sure those won't come loose. And then you can cut the ends off. Oops, but not your loop. Almost did that. Cut these ends off. And they're a little bit too long. They would show. That loop is in the way. There we go. And you can add some crystal effect here to make sure even with the sewing that the ends won't come off later on. And then I already um, added some score tape to my ribbon. And I will layer the ribbon over this. 
so you won't see it. And then cut, if I have way too much, I cut some off. And adhere a Prima flower over it. Now that one, I would sew a couple times the back on my mitten, so to make sure this will not come off. But that's it. That's how that mitten is done. It's easy, and it's very cute on a tree. A nice little holiday um, gift. See you next time.